finally, sister, I, I would just, um, I'd like to relate the physical hijab to the inner hijab, uh, also known as the social hijab. Let's just say, you know, we've got the physical hijab ticked, like that's sorted. Like how should we, how should our social and inner hijab be? How should we act with not only the opposite gender, but also non-Muslims as well? I think it's important to look at the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala introduces the hijab. In, in the Holy Quran. So he doesn't start off with a physical dress. Mm -hmm. First of all, he talks to the men before he talks to the women, which yes. is really, really Very powerful. Very important. Points. Really powerful. Yeah. And he tells them to um, lower their gaze. And that's not lowering it and don't look at the women in at all. It's lower the intensity of your gaze. So mm -hmm. don't look at a woman with that sort of intense, lustful way. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a, lo a lot of... Um, People will turn around and say, well, you know what, in the West you're told that when you're talking to someone you should look at them in the face and talk to them. And Again, Islam doesn't say you, don't, you shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Islam says lower the intensity of that gaze. So mm -hmm. don't look at them in a lustful way. Yeah. Look at them with respect. Mm -hmm. And then it talks about you know, covering your private parts and then it turns to the women and talks about lowering the intensity of your gaze again for the women, mm -hmm. covering the, and then the, the physical hijab of, of covering your your. Uh, beauty mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So we concentrate on the physical hijab, but we don't concentrate on the the social interaction. So the way that mm -hmm. we look at each other, the way that we interact with each other. Mm. And, and in some ways, isn't that more important than yeah, the physical sure. hijab in some ways? Yeah, yeah I, I think they both go hand in hand. I don't Absolutely. Think you can have both. Mm. I think the physical hijab is a barrier there um, to remind you and the other person that there is a barrier there. Mm -hmm. And then for me to then decide what that barrier should be when I'm interacting with you. And, and again, that should be dictated by God. So, you know, it's not that I can't interact with you, but there shouldn't be any unnecessary interaction. Mm -hmm. What is considered as unnecessary, again, very personal to me.